I'm Alex Stroll. I'm an adventure photographer. Photography really suits my lifestyle. I like to be on my own terms, go where I want, when I want, and it's the best situation I've found for that. When it comes to gear, I try to stay simple. So I'll bring one camera, two lenses somewhere, and a drone. What I expect from my drone is to have a lot of battery so I can spend a lot of time moving around and trying new things. I expect it to fly in harsh conditions and deal with the wind. And I expect it to take good photos. Having more battery life is very interesting for me because I can spend more time over my subject and also I can go way further out and higher. It's only upside, of course, but for me what I appreciate is having time, really, not be rushing my shots. Sometimes when you're using the remote, you don't see much on your phone. You just throw your phone inside the goggles and then just put them on. And it was just dark and I could just focus on my photo. When I look at the world map, I try to choose places I haven't been before. I'll try to stay very macro and look at a small area that maybe a few people look at and try to see what's there. Having the drone is, is handy for uh, scouting. Sometimes when you have limited time and you get somewhere, like a big canyon, and pop the drone out, go inside, see how it is. If it's good, you go in. If it's not, that's good, just go somewhere else. I also was able to discover more landscape. Above the mountain, you can see just all this chain of lakes and the glacier in the back that I couldn't see before. So you start having new ideas and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go, try to go to the other lakes behind. I've always thought about, oh, I wonder how this place looks like from here or there, but we couldn't do it. So now it's like almost like a cheat code. Like, oh, I can go anywhere I want, whatever I want. The other day I was just driving through this black sand road and there's this river next to it. With my camera, I couldn't really do much. So just being able to drone up and shoot it, just like a huge bonus. I'm just bringing something back now that I can look at and people can look at and just be amazed by it because you couldn't do that from the ground. I got good memories with the Bebop too. I liked a lot the fact that I can just have it take off from my hand. There's also the, the fact that it can follow you. I like being self-sufficient. Sometimes I just want to get some, some video footage of what I'm doing. After this experience, I know what I would use the Bebop 2 for, and it would be in tandem with uh, my camera. And I would take the Bebop with me on the hikes. I like tools that give me freedom. With the Bebop 2, I can go for a long time and far away in any condition. It just feels like I'm adding to this personal chase.